What is up, chess fans? Uh, just thought I'd give you a quick one from more with learning with Levy. I am learning a lot. Um, and I'm also breaking out of this um, sort of repetitive pattern I've got into black, which I don't think is that good. So let's just jump into it. We're playing Walvin Dessou, I, I believe. Walvin Dessou. It sounds very French, but I do not know why it is from. So I do not know why I'm doing a French accent. But yeah, let's jump into it. Okay, so he comes with the queens. I meet, as always, with that. Um, and, you know, I've been... I've been... Uh, if you saw the last video, when uh, my opponent brings his bishop out to here, I came up to here. That was in my two rook sacrifice video, but I didn't prep very well and I and I think I did a bit better this time. Um, this time of course these two squares are protected by this which they weren't last time because it was a king's and uh, a queen's kind of swap. So yeah basically um, it works better with this is what I'm trying to say but this video is all about pressure and I, I thought I was very good you know and that's one thing Levy has taught me is playing with tempo and pressure so straight away here of course I've got an implied pin with the white queen he obviously protected uh, that pawn by moving forwards that was fine because I still had pressure on this um, he now relieved that pressure because of course if I we I would have got a pawn if if we'd done a swap so he relieves that pressure by coming down here but of course that now means that he's in a proper pin okay um, and then I'm coming out and this is more just kind of continuing my development looking to jump into the middle and obviously that's a potentially weak square um, he comes down and, you know, Levy often says, you know, when, when a bishop's there, you know, it's often good to, you know, go, what are you doing with this pawn? And what I'm doing is I'm quite prepared to keep you in here. I'm fairly sure the way you've set up here, you're not looking to castle long. Um, but, uh, you know, or what I've done rather is I've weakened your position for castling long because obviously um, that ends up being quite a weak line especially when the knight moves so we come up and i think right immediately put him in the pin he now can't protect of course with his um bishop because of this pawn so i'm like yeah put him in a pin let's 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 keep him going he he comes down like that which of course means the rook is now weak it's now hanging um and of course sorry and of course now um i can damage his structure and stop him castling short. And Levy always says, you know, never swap a, a bishop for a knight unless it's a, you know, unless it's a pretty good reason. And I thought this was a good reason. So yeah, damage the structure. And here, um, I could have gone back to here, but I actually wanted to bait him. Again, I wanted to weaken this side because now it's like, well, I'm pretty sure you're going to take that. You're not just going to let me... Um, leave there um, and if you try and attack it with something else you know I'll, I'll take that pawn I'm going to damage that structure so I thought right let's weaken him more and I, and I want to bait him more um, and indeed he takes the bait and bang I'm back so now that is once he takes that now is my my uh you know, mission complete, basically. I've damaged the structure there, I've damaged there, and on we go. So now I come out really just creating development. And here it was a case of, okay, let me try and, you know, go over there. And I'm fairly sure he's now going to castle long, even with these two uber-advanced pawns. Um, he comes back like that. Uh, and there, sorry, let me just explain that move. There, obviously, I was like, right, this is great because now I've got eyes on this for if this moves. Um, and uh, and I'm ready to move it and castle if need be. And he does castle long, like I think. And 
off I go. Right, and so I move forwards because I don't want this sliding forwards when I uh, move my H pawn. Uh, sorry, when I move my A pawn, I don't want uh, that sliding forwards. You know, I want I want that there because now I've got this. Like I say, I've got bishops on here. I've got a laser line here. And I'm ready to come up with my queen, all of which happens eventually. So now there we go. There goes my A pawn. And I was looking in the analysis afterwards and I thought maybe he could have slid back down there. But then I, you know, I come there actually and he's now going to move. But yeah, I, it, could, it could potentially it could have been better. Potentially it could have been better. We'll, we'll have a look at that. Um, he attacks the knight and I'm like, that's fine because I wanted to rotate that knight round back to here. Um, he comes down and then here we go. So now I take, obviously with bishop, he comes in there because, you know, he's anticipating that I'm going to uh, pin him and then, um, sorry, uh, jump in with my knight into here. And take his knight, but which I am going to pin him. But I've got, I've got a bigger fish, fish to fry, as it were. And I didn't put him in check here because even though he will be in a pin, that's kind of, uh, you know, that's that's quite a good 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 escape route. Obviously, if he comes down there, um, you know, I'm I'm coming up. But anyway, let's see what happens. And he does come down there. So now protect up with my um, queen. I think he should have actually run there. I think he should have run. Again, pressure, pressure, pressure. And then I take like that. And um, he actually, sorry, he actually resigns here. He actually resigns here because this is it. The game's, game's lost. And this is me just playing it out a couple of ways. I suppose he could have gone like that. i put him in check. Moves out. It's checkmate. Or it could have played out like... Uh, what's the other way it could have played out? Could have played out like this. Could have played out like that. But yeah. Um, I think at this point... Yeah, I think he sh he shouldn't have come back. That was that was his main thing. But you know, it was it was not nice. <laughs> you know, the stuff that was um, looking to happen to him. It was not not very nice at all. Uh, I think something like that probably would have been it. Yeah, there we go. Boom. So, yeah, I mean, pretty tough. So, yeah, it was just a quick one. I just thought that was quite a nice game of pressure. That now takes me to 1490. Um, hopefully, I'm going to get above that 1500 and stay. A couple of weeks back, I was playing very well. And I got to 1520, I think. I'll have, to, I'll have to look at the profile and double check that. But um, also, I think I might, I might even do a video where I show myself doing some puzzles because I, I found that those are extremely helpful. And when I got to, um, what am I on the puzzles? Let's have a look. I, find, I found when I was doing the puzzles um, and then straight away um, playing games... I found them very, very useful. So, yeah, we'll have a look at that. Um, or maybe we won't. And I'll just see you in... Oh, no, there we go. 1651. 1651. So, yeah, if I could get my... I think that's probably a good reflection of my classical rating rather than my rapid. You know? So I think I, I want to try and get my puzzle rating to consistently above 1700 then I think I'll be consistently above 1500 because a couple of weeks ago um, or whenever it was where am I um, blitz 1503 okay no 
1508 was what I got to. I thought I got to 1520. 1508 on January the 6th. And my puzzles were really doing well. But yeah, the puzzles were doing well there as well. So yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling on now. See you later.